Hello, we're in Holy Massachusetts discussing the canal system. And this is a three level canal. We happen to be on the second level canal as it goes into the third level canal. The drop here is 12 feet. Now we're looking at one of the power stations that was made by Hoyle to harness the power of this area. I believe it was made about 1905. Now it's called Hoyle Gas Electric Hydro Station number three. And they have, they have many stations around. And this is the, the, out of the ones owned by the city, this is the smallest one. The other ones are named after the mills are in it. They're inside mills or if they're on, outside on the canal, they're, it's called city one, city two, city three, city four. And you can see the building itself is Art Deco, very simple style of it. And inside of there is one big turbine and it's generated electricity off of the drop of water from the second level down to the third level. You can kind of hear the water drop. Now, the next component we're going to go to is behind us. And what is this apparatus doing here? Well, before the water should be allowed to go in towards that turbine, you have to screen out anything that's uh, too large and make it in there. So leaves or branches or bottles or fish life, so forth. They don't want that to get into this. And so what do they do? Well, down below the ground, they have a screen. And the screen will, will take out any of this. And they have, to, they have to clean that pretty much daily to make sure that it's effective to get rid of all the things along the way. Now, what is this big apparatus doing up top, though? Sometimes you don't want any water going through here at all. You want to control the flow of your water as much as possible. To do that, what you want to do is have the ability to stop the water at any one of these power stations. Right? You cannot stop the water going into the mills. Nowadays, if not using them, they'll cement them up. But you want to sometimes the water not to even go in here. And to do that, so this device that we see across the way from the hydropower station is, since it's solid, and what it does, you can drop into the water. You can remove the uh, extra grapes that are along its side by hand, pull them out, and then you can manually drop these downwards with a, a winch, and then it goes down and it'll block the water. And it has holes, you can even let the water through and some not by by pulling those center things closed or not. All right, so they have the ability to close everything off that they want to. And that's what they want. They want you want to control the water as much as possible on these power stations. For instance, what if you're doing um, heavy duty maintenance on the hydro power station itself? You'd have to close it up entirely. You don't want to have to drain the whole canal system just to fix a turbine. So this is what this apparatus is for. Okay, now this area is power center, one of the power nodes of the whole oil, gas, and electric canal system. And we're gonna point out a few things along the way. This is the end of the second level canal over here. That apparatus down here has two pieces also. That's a spillway. And the spillway um, works that it lets the water over to drop down to the second level canal when, when the level gets too high, right? It hardly ever does because they're so good at controlling the water level. But say it's a half inch too high, it lets the water spill over. And they have five of these spillways around the canal system, right? Notice also they have uh, a tiny brick building over there. And that's there to help the gates go up and down when they need to, okay? Now, on the other side of that, there is the third level canal. And it's, it's so sophisticated when the second level meets the third level canal that in this corner over here, there's an extremely large race that starting as a tunnel going below the Holyoke Machine Company, the mill number one, and the Merrick Thread Company, mill number one, that it's a, the largest exposed race and the largest race in general when it's not covered, when it's covered, and when it's not covered. You can see it in the distance, right? It still carries water through 
those locations. Then we come back to city number three's hydroelectric station, all right? And then everything else after that in the distance is mills in the second level canal. So this is trying to use up the second level canals, okay? And so that through a very ingenious methods, they figured out how to harness a little bit more of the power of the canal. I wish they put a lot more of these small ones up. I know it costs a lot of money to do that, but it, it generates a lot of electricity too. So thank you for coming on this stuff.